Hey guys, uh, Patton for Life 99 here. I'm taking off some time from my gaming videos because I got just better in school. But I just got a hat cam for Christmas, so I'm gonna bring you some goose hunting, some duck hunting, possibly some deer hunting, but a lot of ice fishing and bass fishing. Uh, and this video is about what I use and what you should use to catch fish mostly bass and perch some walleye but let's just start off with the rods right here I have a quantum by Bill Dance with the quantum reel too the first one I got broke uh, pulling up a big pike but it was completely my fault this one stood up real good I love this rod and this reel has 12 pound test on it um, I have no complaints about this rod whatsoever love it my second rod that I use is a trout rod but I use it for perch fishing it's so flimsy um, it's a Cabela's classic with a Shimano 1000 on it it's a really nice reel the reel is like a hundred dollars and this rod was about 75 um, but yeah, this is a great perch rod and trout rod. Um, I don't really use it that often, but when I do, the fish put up a good fight. And these next two rods I bought yesterday. I bought a Jimmy Houston. It was, it's a really nice rod. The Hog Hunter Pro. It's only about it was forty nine ninety nine, just like that rod from Bill Dance. Haven't used it yet. It looks pretty cool. He used it in his last fishing series episode on Versus, and I really like it. It's got the camo reel, too. It's pretty nifty. I'm going to put 10-pound test on it. Um, but, yeah, it's not crap because I saw him use it. And it's got cork. I like cork. Um, next one, I got my Ice Buster. For uh, ice fish fishing, and I usually don't go for anything but perch, so I'm got this little flimsy tip on it right there. If you can see, it's really, really nice rod in my opinion. It's cheap, nineteen dollars. Dave Gens. Um, the only problem is that this slips a little bit right here. Can't really keep your reel in there too great, but I like it. <laughs> haven't used it yet and if you, when you go ice fishing what I do I always bring my split shot I don't have my ice fishing gear with me but I usually jig I use Swedish pimple right here put a wax worm or a minnow on it and I use perch spreaders not much for ice fishing bought a new spud so I might be able to but let's get into bass because I love bass fishing it's my favorite um, always have to have your bass assassins. Those work great. Just Texas rig them. Got to have a big mouse or leech. Got to have your deep divers. Always. Deep divers also catch walleye. And got to have your topwater frogs, obviously. And it's the same thing over here. I always carry my MEPS Black Furies, number fives. Pike love them, and then big bass swallow them. Um, I don't have any of my crankbaits with me, but I usually throw crankbaits out when it's an overcast day, so that gets me some nice fish. And this jig right here, always keep it with me. That's what I got my 11-pound walleye on, that jig. I love it. Off of the Tawas Pier. It's pretty nice. And let's get into my favorite thing. I love using worms, the wacky worms for bass. It's my specialty. It's my absolute favorite thing. This guy named Tommy turned me on to him. He's a, a semi-pro angler for, I believe it's uh, Western, but I'm not sure what college he goes to, but it might be Western Michigan. He's on Versus channel all the time. He showed me these wacky worms and they work phenomenally um, the ones with the tail these work more in the spring right here 
but um, these are my favorite right here just the solid ones um, I like those neon tips those come in second to my pumpkin seeds love these pumpkin seeds and they come in three different sizes they come in big I catch giants with these I caught an eight pound bass on these last year with my friend Ryan you'll see him a lot in my videos good friend of mine good fishing friend and you got your mediums which I usually use I pretty much always use mediums right there Wack, yum wacky worms are always salted so the fish hang on to them longer and you got your smalls on the small ones which you throw them out there you get an occasional big perch with Ryan last year we caught a 16 inch perch it was real nice we released it because it's the biggest perch we ever caught all these worms were laying at the bottom of my bag so I gotta put those away and uh wire leader for pike always got to have wire leader now I'm gonna show you how to rig a wacky worm two ways maybe three but right here this is how you rig a wacky not in the little soft part just right directly in the middle of the worm just like that and it floats like this bass go crazy man they got they're insane let me show you a better example right there look at that bass go absolutely crazy wackies is my favorite kind of bass fishing the second way you rig them is really easy you just go like this put it through the top turn then have the hook follow it all the way up right there there you go that's it fish are stupid they don't see that hook I catch just to prove it I might put some pictures on but I've caught giant bass like that. I mean, just like, I almost, I had a 10 pounder on like this, hooked her in the cheek. But she got off when she jumped. Hook was just like that, so they can't see it too great. And there's another way I hook them. I usually just go like this towards the neon tip. I just go like that. Just, right, just like that. No big deal. Wacky fishing's great though. I love it. And another good thing for bass in the spring spinners. My friend, my dad's friend Richard Bruning and I, he owns a stained glass company up in Traverse City. He does real nice work. You should check him out. Uh, but we nailed the smallmouth bass in the pouring rain. 30 mile per hour winds with these and we caught we also caught a steelhead that we kept in eight it's fantastic none of the other guys wanted to come out because they were pansies but it was, it was so worth it so bonding time with Richard because I never get to see him and lastly you guys already know this but always got to have your hemos cannot forget your hemos in case you get a nice pike on or something swallows the hook what if it's your favorite lure nope gotta have them and that's it thank you guys for watching this is my first fishing video i hope to get more out soon i'm also a big duck hunter so i'll put out a duck hunting video i'll lay out my decoy spread and i'm using my new hat cam as you might already know uh, that's pretty much it. I'll show you my shotgun. Just leave a like or leave a comment on what else I can use. Um, give me some tips. Thank you.